homeboy came to school and he told me he had sex with her in her car. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Denzel Deanna. Welcome back to my channel. Are you poppin'? Because I know I am. Okay, as you can see by this title, this is a story time about the time my teacher slept with my best friend. I haven't done a story time in a while, so I was like, you know what? Let me give you more story times. If you want more story times, give this video a big thumbs up right now, and I'll be posting more story times, because there are more stories to come. You guys love my stories, and I love telling my stories. And don't mind my turtleneck. Okay, I'm not trying to be sophisticated or anything. I'm just going to a party, and you know, it's like... 10, 11 p.m. on a Saturday night, like I need to hurry up, film this video, do what I gotta do, and go because I'm like, wait, today is Saturday and I post tomorrow on Sundays. I post every Sunday and I cannot leave y'all hanging without a video. Look at me over here taking sacrifices. <laughs> if this is your first time seeing my face or knowing of my existence, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And like always, follow me on Twitter, turn on my post notifications. Follow me on Instagram, turn on my post notifications. It's not me, I snap back. The links will be down below. Without further ado, let's get right on into this video. Shall we, darling? This took place in the eighth grade before we graduated to high school, so I was 13 at the time. My friend that this happened to, he was 15, he was like older than all of us, but he was still in the same grade, so whatever, it was in middle school. He got us back the same old, the same old, you know, we all have those kids in our school. In the eighth grade, we had dance class, we had dance class. Sometimes in our school, we would switch, like we would have dance, and then we would have gym, sometimes we would have both, but this semester specifically, we had dance. Now, we had dance, but they introduced some, like, some whole new dance program shit, so it was two types of dance. We had like ballroom dancing, which we've been doing for forever. Like I hate ballroom dancing. And then we had hip hop, like hip hop was introduced. And I said, ooh, I wanna do hip hop. Like I wanna start, you know, getting crunk. I signed up for the hip hop class and so did, like the hip hop class was full, okay? Put on like that. So it, it got too full to the point where the lady, the teacher, the dancing teacher took whoever she wanted to pick and then the other ballroom dancing teacher took whoever she wanted to pick. Now, mind you, the ballroom dancing teacher is a little older than the dance teacher. The dance teacher was in her 20s. Yeah, the dance teacher was in her 20s, like the hip hop dancer was in her 20s, and the ballroom dancer, she was like in her late 30s, early 40s, don't know. Um, we're gonna call this dance teacher Miss Hip. Okay, so Miss Hip decided to take me and my delinquent friends and because, you know, she just had a good time with us. She took like all the bad kids, like including me. She took all the bad kids into her group and she just wanted to work with them. So she had picked like 10 of my friends. So it was like a small group, I guess. It was like 10 of us and the rest of the others were like the ballroom dancing. Like all the smart kids went to ballroom dancing, of course. And all the delinquents went to hip hop. No boys wanted to do hip hop in my school. Like nobody wanted to do hip hop. But my friend just went because he always had a crush on Miss Hip. He said Miss Hip was so fine. He didn't even do dance. We were just fooling around. Like, she she like, she was one of those teachers. She was like so young. She was like early teacher. She was like, how old is she? She was like 22, 23. She had, she was like a young baby face teacher. She looked like she was one of us. She was short, she was cute. She had a little butt, little, you know, breast that says, stomach flat, stomach on flat, flat. Like the girl was cute. Teacher was cute. And all the boys thought she was pretty. Uh, they always said how they wanted to have sex with her and all this, like people, the boys in my school would say, I, you know me, always had to tell how it is. I'm like, you think you, can have sex with her. You think she wants to? Why would she go to a little boy but she have grown men in the school looking at her? Like, you, you, you feel me? You get what I'm saying, right? As the days passed on, the first class we had, um, I noticed some chemistry with her and this boy, my friend. I would've given him like my best, best friend. Okay, we were like best friends, but not like best, best, best friends. We were like very good friends. Like that, like that was my homie. Or like, bro, like that was my bro. So, um, uh, ugh, it's so weird to say the word bro. That word really irks the shit out of me anyways. They started getting close and I was like, am I the only one who's seen this or what? Am I? Is my eyes seeing shit because I'm the type of kid that if I like to learn, I like to learn, you know? So I wanted to learn hip hop moves. Like, I want to start dancing like the kids in high school musical and start breaking. I want to start doing this shit. So I'm like, girl, when are you gonna teach us? She's just there and she's just talking to my friend. The first class, she's already talking to him. Like, he's playing with her. Like, he's such a ladies' man. Like, all the girls on him six pack, freckles, Hispanic. Like, I don't wanna give too many details away because if I give this one specific trait, like, people who from my school who watches my videos or if they even watch my videos, I don't know. We know who I'm talking about and I'm not trying to give that message out like you know what I mean <laughs> just know he was about okay let me say he was like about five eight five nine that's good for right no oh that's a reach that's a stretch he was like five six five seven voice was deep and all like he didn't look like he was supposed to be in eighth grade he actually looked like he was a high schooler like he looked like he was a, like a junior I give him a junior like he looked very old he had a mustache he had facial hair already like homeboy hit puberty at 10 like let me tell you that right now like homeboy hit puberty at 10 his voice was deep in the body it was even deeper than my own father's I was like well damn I feel like what she was talking to she didn't think she was talking to a little boy but mind you, you're teaching eighth grade. It's like, he is in the eighth grade, ma'am. Not even in high school. I, I can get if like teachers are messing with. 
people in high school, but if you're messing with a student, you're in middle, like, and he's in middle school, like, that's not cute. Let me take you back. So the first class, they just had chemistry, and they just kept laughing. He was over here making her laugh. He's doing his little charm, smooth boy. You know, fuck boy, what fuck boys do. Like, fuck boys can talk you. I don't know what fuck boys, I don't know how they do this, but they just talk to you. He was a fuck boy, okay? Just to put out that he was a fuck boy. Like, like everybody knew he was a fuck boy, but people didn't give a fuck. Okay, so the first class, I'm trying to learn or whatever, but these two over here, flaming. is she flaming him or she's just being nice? I'm like, okay, she would never do that. Like, she knows damn well she can go to jail for one. Two, she could lose her job. Three, she's trying to tell us how she's trying to quit her job to go somewhere else because she doesn't really like her job. But all of a sudden, the girl's staying here, lollygagging and talking to my friend. Now, um, I can get teachers can be nice, you know, but this is like too nice. So the first class, um, they were a little too, they were like, you know, flirting, he was making her laugh, she was like hitting him. Now, when you hit somebody where they make you laugh, like, bitch, that's physical. So she was getting real physical with him, okay? So, I put that on my notes, and I said, wow, we'll talk about this later. And as he's talking to her, he's like winking at me like he got this. Like, okay, now, the second class, um, she's supposed to teach us dancing. He, he's a good dancer, but he was following what she was doing, but she wanted a partner. She told all of us to pick partners. I said, okay, cool. My friend, I'm gonna be calling him Mitch. I can't keep saying my friend, like, that's too much. She said she's gonna demonstrate for us, and I said, if this bitch, picks Mitch as her dance partner, I'ma lose it. Like, this is this is the start of something new, bitch. High School Musical, this is the start of fucking something new. This is, wow. I, at times, I have a big mouth, okay? And sometimes when I need to say something, I have to say it. It just eats at my soul. So I'm talking to my friend. I just had to get this out. I said, watch her pick him. Watch her pick Mitch. She was like, why would you think? I said, why? She said, so I need a partner to demonstrate. Obviously, people are volunteering. She, she was like, you know what? I'll just pick Mitch. So she's picking Mitch. And it's like a slow grind dancing thing. Like she's the girl, obviously. She's like grinding, like her ass is on his penis dancing, like they're grinding together. I'm like, what type of hip hop is this? After that, I said, well, I'm shook. Second class. Third class, this is where it gets crazy. We changed our locations. Our location was always like in the hallways and stuff. All of a sudden, she told us that we can't get like the auditorium or a private room because there's other extracurricular activities that's happening. So we just always dance like in the hallways, like by the gym, you know? She takes us to this auditorium just because she wants to start flirting with Mitch in private without the camera. Now there's a problem. So we're here in the auditorium, we're dancing or whatever, and her and Mitch like are just kicking it. Like they look like boyfriend and girlfriend. Like I'm not gonna lie. He's making her laugh. She's making him laugh. He's hitting her. She's hitting him. She's spilling him. And everybody doesn't see. It. I'm the only one that notices shit. And then he takes it too far, and I saw him grab her ass. Like he's the type that he's a risk taker. Not a risk taker, but like, how do I say this? Uh, he doesn't care like about consequences. Like if he gets suspended for grabbing the teacher's ass, then so be it. So he grabs her butt, and she doesn't even be mad. I think she literally like smacks his hand off, and is just like like shoots him away. Like not here. Like right now, she gave him the look. Like not here. I'm like, whoa, so you trying to tell me y'all be doing this shit outside of school? Like, let me know. I'm very nosy. I'm a very nosy person. I mean, in school, I was a god. I was, was I a gossiper? Yes, I was. Let me be honest with myself. I was a gossiper in school. It, it wasn't like, it wasn't that I was a gossiper. It's just that, like, if I had tea, like, I wouldn't want people to know the tea because, like, we could all, like, sip tea together. You feel me? But after I saw her give him that look, like, not here right now, I let everybody know that Mitch is about to fuck Miss Hip Hop. Like, I knew for a fact it was going to happen. Okay, now, I gave you the intro. I gave you the rising action. Now, bitch, this is the climax. Okay, this is the climax. The next class we had, it was, I, feel like, I feel like this was, like, the fifth class we have. Okay, it took five classes for him to get in her pants. This class was very rushed, very fast. Our classes are usually two hours, but it was like 45 minutes. She said she had to go somewhere. We get to class, we do what we have to do, and we're leaving, and she asks if um, Mitch wants a ride. Now, um, when I heard that question being asked, in my head, I said teachers are not allowed to give students ride. Well, in my school, I feel like teachers just knew their, their place, not to like put a student in their car after school hours, it just wasn't cute. Because I remember I used to tell my teachers to take me home, they'd be like, we can't do that, like it's against our teacher, whatever code, whatever they have, whatever they sign when they, you know, sign up to be a teacher. She came to our school, she asked if we, he needed a ride, and he said, yeah, and I'm like, what you mean, yeah, you can walk, he lived like three blocks from the school, you can walk that, why you have her taking you home? And I knew he was trying to get in her pants. He thought something was gonna happen. Apparently it did. Like if he has sex with her, he's obviously gonna tell me. He's obviously gonna call me. He's gonna brag about it somewhere. Or he's gonna try to keep it low key. I was like, let's see. I get on AIM, right? On my little sidekick. And I see his status says, just smashed shoddy. Shit was easy. Grinning face. Now I was like, whoa, did he have sex with her? Like, or is it another girl? Cause I told you this boy was a fuck boy. I've seen many statuses of this with different girls. So I wasn't sure if it was the teacher. We get back to school on Friday and um, he told me he had sex with her. He said he had sex with her. He said it only lasted for like three minutes, but they had sex. 
didn't believe him. The next class, we get back to school on a Monday, and I don't see, I don't see Miss Hip Hop anywhere. She's nowhere to be found. Now, a week comes by, she's not back. Two weeks comes by, she's not back in school. The third week, homegirl decides to pop up. I said, girl, let me ask you about this tea, because she was real with us. She was like, why would you ever think that's it? I was just asking. She was just like, she flirted to him just for fun, like, just to play with him, like, she's not serious. I'm like, girl, you're a teacher. You don't flirt with people like that. After that conversation, when she specifically told me, like, they didn't do anything, like, why would she ever and all that? I never seen her after that, like, homegirl. Bounce. By bouncing, I mean, she wasn't a hip hop teacher no more. We all had to do ballroom dancing. I don't know where she went. Like, she didn't work there no more. I don't know if she quit. I don't know if she got fired. But they said she quit. Not quit, like, she just said she was coming back, but she never came back. Then she decided to take a new route and go into law. So, you trying to tell me you went from dancing, hip hop, barely teaching hip hop, barely to becoming a lawyer? Yeah, girl, you knew. You had sex with him. Like, there's no way that all of a sudden it was a coincidence that after he told me they had sex, she bounced, she picked up, and she decided she wanted to become a lawyer. <laughs> Like, there's just no way. After she left the school, I just, you know, thought that what he told me was true. I don't know if it's true to this day, but what he told me, he told me, and the signs were there. I saw her flirting back with him, one. Number two, he grabbed her butt. She didn't say anything. Usually a teacher would report it. She did it. Number three, she picked him up. Well, not picked him up. She dropped him off home. Literally, the drive was like four or five minutes away. So something could have happened in those five minutes. Homegirl bounced. She left and she did not look back. Till this day, I've never heard of her. Never heard about her. But who is she? What does she do now? She's probably a lawyer. Yeah, that's what happened. He said he had sex with her. She said that nothing ever like that ever happened. She would never do that. Girl, why would you just pick up and bounce like that without telling anybody? You know, teachers leave the school. They usually tell people to go to take a leave, you know, but she just got up and left, like, I don't know, to become a lawyer. She's still probably teaching hip hop somewhere else in the world. She just knew that they were gonna get up. They found out that they did something. I don't know if they did something. I don't know if he was lying to me. To this day, I can't confirm because I don't see receipts. I don't see videos. I don't see pics. But then again, why would you just leave like that? Hmm. Whatever. That was it for the story time, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. And like I said, you see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You don't watch, I don't post. So watch. And until then, see you later, my darlings. Bye!